Hey y'all, hope you're having a good night. I'm fixing to tell you a really tragic story. Uh, this little boy here you're looking at, his name is Mason Dominguez. He lived in Las Vegas with his mother and seven-year-old sister. Well, in January of last year, her husband got sick with pneumonia and passed away. His name is Elijah. And before he had passed, he had introduced this man by the name of Brandon Toslin, 35 years old, to his family. A couple of months after her husband passed away, she began dating that man, Brandon. And he became very controlling and abusive towards the mother and the children. He had locks on the windows on the doors. He had alarms throughout the home. He took over her social media account and threatened them with guns. So they were scared. Well, there came a point that this little boy, uh, Mason, disappears. And the mother's like, where's my son? I want to see Mason. And he refused to let her see him. And that's because he had killed this little four-year-old boy. He had told the mother that he had gotten sick and thrown up and choked on it. But that wasn't true. The violence kept escalating. He would tie her up in her home if he had to go anywhere. When they took the little girl to school, he would handcuff her to the steering wheel until he got back. It got so bad that this little girl wrote a little note to her teacher and passed it and told her that they were being kept captive. They, that teacher went on to alert the police, and when they went to the home, they discovered that little Mason had been wrapped in trash bags and placed in the freezer. Little Mason had actually been in that freezer for 10 weeks. Well, the news media reached out to uh, Elijah, which is her deceased husband's family, side of the family, and they were very upset. They said <clears throat> that he was just the most loving little boy and just a joy, brought joy to everyone. And this Brandon, actually has a history of violence. He assaulted his sister by punching her in the face and she ended up dropping the charges. And then another time he was uh, physically assaulting his ex-girlfriend and pled no, no contest. And now he has gone on to actually kill an innocent little four-year-old boy. In my opinion, he should receive first-degree murder looking at his past. He has been charged with two counts of kidnapping and one count of murder. I think it should be in the first. It's really, really sad you know, when you're involved in domestic violence yourself, and I'm speaking from experience, you become so scared, and they literally do have a lot of control over you. So if someone hits you the first time, my advice would be to leave, regardless how long you've been with someone, no one has the right to put their hands on you. You know, there, there is something else about this story. You know, right after the little boy passed away, the neighbor said in the backyard that it seemed like overnight this eight-foot hole was dug in the, back, in the backyard. And there is sand and debris from the backyard that was found in a U-Haul truck out front 
of the house. They have not determined the cause of death for little Mason, but he did have signs of bruising and things like that around on his face. So this woman not only went through domestic violence, and having to watch her children get hit, she's lost her little boy because of this man. It's really, really horrible, isn't it? Oh, my heart goes out to her. It really does. And you know, if it wasn't for that little girl, that little seven-year-old girl being, being brave enough to pass her teacher a note, who knows? It may have never come out. Her ex-sister-in-law would try to contact her via text and would never get a response whatsoever. I'm glad they caught this guy and he's off the streets. And I hope they just throw the book at him. In my opinion, he doesn't deserve to see the light of day. Maybe they'll give him life, I hope. I can't imagine what his mother is going through, but we need to keep her in prayer. His older sister, the hero of the story. Y'all have a good night. It's a sad story.